Hello guys, this is Damian from ForexBot.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live Forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So guys, I'm currently looking at the 5 minute chart of the American dollar Japanese and Forex pair because I see a pattern that is relatively rare and I will try to trade it. This pattern is called cup with handle. And why is it called that way? Because it really looks like a cup with a handle. Here it is. Now I'm building the cup. All right, the cup is ready. And now let's do the handle. Here. And eventually over here, something like this. And I see that the price is currently attempting to break the upper level of the candle. And when this five minute candle is finished, I will instantly buy the American dollar Japanese yen for pair on the assumption that the price will increase and that this shooting star candle pattern will not be like confirmed. And after I do this, I will position my stop loss order and my take profit order for this trade. And I will make them visual with specific levels that will let me uh have them on the chart in case one of the levels get hit and the trade gets closed as i always do if you've seen most of my videos you probably know that this is how i proceed this is the 15 minute chart now uh there's some interesting stuff over here something like a you know five minute chart is better to approach in my opinion maybe if we take this as a bearish trend this really is a breakout and a retracement like at the already broken trend so let me first prepare to buy all right period was finished i just bought the american dollar japanese yen forex pair now let me position this bearish trend line over here i'm gonna put it in purple all right notice that uh, the trend line is getting tested here here and here then it breaks uh, at the second part of the cup over here the breakout and then the price uh, returned to the already broken bearish trend for a test and now that the price broke the upper level of the handle I have something like a confirmation that the price will eventually increase for this reason i'm going to now put my stop loss order below the lowest level of the handle somewhere over here below the candle uh, and i'm gonna mark this level with red on the chart Forty hundred ten forty four approximately and now my take profit order where should my take profit order stay so the ultimate cup with handle rules state that the take profit order should be located at a distance equal to the size of the cup so but the thing is that uh, this time we will not take like the widest part in the pattern over here and we'll take the midpoint of the lower part of the pattern so one should always be creative here when measuring targets so now i'm putting this rectangle somewhere over here in the middle of the base of the cup and i stretch it upward and this is like the move that i'm going to pursue this is the size of the move i'm going to pursue and I apply the size starting from the moment of the breakout uh, through the upper level of the handle. Okay, and my take profit order should go at the upper level of this rectangle. So maybe I can take like 111.20 because it's a round number. And it has psychological meaning maybe. And as you probably know, I always like to put meaning in my levels. Uh, okay. 111.20 I said. 
24. Now let's move it on 111.20, which is uh, nearly at the upper level. Of the rectangle. Now I'm going to mark this level with a uh, with a green line. So in case the price hits the take profit or the stop loss order, I will have it visualized. All right. And now my entry point that I'm gonna put in white. All right. I repeat again that this. Uh, relatively rare pattern i mean not that it is rare you can you can like miss it pretty frequently but uh, uh this time we have it pretty good like in terms of uh, in terms of shape and it is not like uh, that often as the double top or the double bottom pattern so i decided it might be a good experience for you if i if i manage to shoot uh, a successful trade with this pattern and now that I have all the levels on the chart and my trade is 100% protected, I will pause this video and I'll come back to you later with the results from this trade. Okay guys, I am back an hour and a half later to tell you that the cup with handle chart pattern is 100% successful. The take profit order of the pattern got hit at 111.20, which closed a successful trade. Uh, I feel great that I managed to trade it successfully and to put it on record for you so you can all watch it because this is uh, as i said this is not a that easy pattern to trade so it was a it was a it was a good achievement and a nice experience uh, for me furthermore the target was uh, relatively uh, big uh, because uh, the price went all the way up from 110.74 to 111 point uh, 20 and now I'm going to do some calculations to determine uh, the percentage profit for this trade uh, but first what I'm going to do is to measure the pips from the trade uh, approximately 46 pips Profit from the trade, which is uh, 0 0.46 from the exchange rate of the American dollar, Japanese yen, forex pair. 46, and I divide uh, 0 0.46 uh, by 110.74, which is my entry price. And I get a result of 0 0.0041.5387. And when I multiply this number by 100, I get my percentage profit from this trade, which is 0. 0.42% profit approximately very good trade absolutely only hour and a half notice that the price increased exactly to my target and then the price now the price is trying to shoot down uh, by the way the trade was uh, actually not completed after an hour and a half but uh, over here which is exactly one hour so we took only one hour and not an hour and a half which makes it even more lucrative at the same time my stop loss order was placed at uh, 110.44 uh, on a 30 pips distance so I risked like uh, 0 0.30 pips which is uh, I risked 30 pips which is 0 0.30 divided by the entry price at 110 point uh 74 i get a result of 0 0.0027 which is approximately 0 0.27 percent so i reached 0 0.27 percent to profit something like uh, 0 0.46 percent which is uh pretty much a little bit more than uh, two to one win loss ratio which makes the trade very advantageous in terms of metrics. Very good trade, I repeat. And I would like to remind you that this trade uh, came as a result of a first a breakout through a bullish, uh, through a bearish trend. I apologize. Here it is, that bearish trend, if I can say it is a trend, but still we have like three tops that are on the same line. And then after this breakout, the price created the cup, then the handle, and I 
bought the American dollar Japanese yen on the breakout in the handle right over here to trade for a price move equal to the vertical size of the pattern from the midpoint of the bottom of the cup uh, to the upper level of the cup and that distance was absolutely was totally achieved by the price action which closed a successful trade for 0. Uh, 0 0.42% for me creating like 2 to 1 win loss ratio so thank you very much for watching this was Damian from forexbow.com uh, looking forward to see you on the next live forex trading session and until then I wish you happy trading